So guys, over the past few months, we've been getting scattered pieces of information about Tesla's next generation AI chips, but now everything is finally coming together and the scale of what Tesla is building is honestly way beyond anything the industry is expecting. Elon has made it clear that the AI5 chip is such a massive leap forward that it might actually fall under federal export control due to raw performance alone. And unlike previous upgrades, this one won't be as simple as swapping out the computer, which ultimately increases the difficulty causing further delays now to the timeline of when we can expect this to be in our new cars. Earlier this year, Elon emphasized that the upcoming AI5 chip represents such a large leap forward that Tesla may need to restrict its export due to federal regulations, noting that AI5 draws far more power at peak load, forcing Tesla to fully redesign the electrical and thermal systems, making it incompatible as a simple computer swap New information has revealed that the next generation chip would deliver eight times more raw compute power and nearly 40 times improvements in certain key metrics. It also includes nine times more memory being designed with up to 144 gigabytes of memory and five times the bandwidth. A new roadmap came right after Elon had teased the next generation chip up to AI8 even though Tesla has only now started approaching the deployment of AI5. In a post on X, he confirmed that slightly different versions of AI5 will be manufactured by both TSMC and Samsung due to differences in each foundry's design process, but the goal is for the software to perform identically across both versions. Within the following year, the next generation chip AI6 will be built on the same partnership and delivers roughly double the performance targeting mass production by mid-2028. And then beyond that, AI7 and AI8 is already in early plannings and will require different fabs due to its ambitious architecture. Then more recently, Elon reconfirmed the actual timeline for AI5 deployment, mentioning that he just wrapped up the AI5 chip design review and that works on AI6 is already underway in parallel. Interestingly, he noted that Michael Dell from Dell Technologies happened to chat with him just beforehand, so Elon invited him to join the AI5 review with lots of positive takeaways reported. Elon additionally stated that AI5 would not be made available in high enough volume to switch Tesla's production line until mid-2027 as they need several hundred thousand completed AI5 boards before mass production officially begins. All right, guys, so this whole AI roadmap honestly tells us so much about Tesla sees the next half decade playing out. It's not just about making FSD better. It's about building the compute backbone needed for full autonomy, robotics, and everything tied to Optimus and future products. That is truly where AI5 and the future chips are going to be looking towards. And the jump from hardware three to hardware four already felt really huge. But now they're talking about performance numbers that are so high that the entire charging, cooling, and power has to be redesigned around it. All of this just sounds way too out of this world. All we can do at this point is just wait and see, and hopefully they are ahead of the game, and we could possibly see all of this happening before 2027. Now, in other news, Tesla is preparing to implement a new hazard lighting system into its existing fleet of cars through an over-the-air update. The system replaces the outdated 70-year-old hazard lighting standard with high visibility flashing patterns and digital location alerts that warns nearby drivers through in-car and phone navigation. According to the company, this system will provide advanced lighting alerts and improve advanced warning communication to drivers with several lighting combinations at 4 to 6 hertz flashing frequencies, whereas the current system is sitting at 1.5. Tesla will implement these changes to the existing vehicles through a software update, a rare step for Tesla, which usually creates its own system and improves on the existings. So there we have it guys. The truth is, FOMO is real right now. Everyone is waiting for the next big thing to arrive, but it might not be arriving as soon as we had hoped. Production of Hardware 5 AI5 might start much earlier, but the full transition to this new chip is not expected until closer to 2027, as production must ramp up and be combined with Optimus and other vehicles. So at this point, when it comes down to it, it just means that the current autopilot AI4 will continue to be the best. It will be used on new products produced and new vehicles 
at least for at least another year or two. This just means that unless you're really wanting AI5 and you have no intentions to buy a new car anytime soon, it's probably better to get into an AI4 brand new car right now that Tesla is primarily focused on with unsupervised full self-driving. So there is no worries that is not going to achieve it, at least from what we're seeing right now. Robotaxi are all currently running AI4, so it's pretty much a given that is high confidence that they can achieve unsupervised full autonomy and AI5 is just gonna build upon the safety level. Pretty much all of this is just happening way too quick and it's just so much going on right now, hard to keep up with every new development. I can't wait to see what they are gonna push out and what these new chips and what products are gonna be put into. I will continue to keep a very close eye out for anything that comes up and update you as quickly as possible. And just an FYI, again, if you missed my last video, I am on a short vacation right now. So this video has been scheduled and it's rolling out right now. If you guys haven't already done so, go over to Twitter X. You'll see what's going on right now. Maybe I'll update you, maybe not. Uh, and you can make sure you hit that subscribe and the bell notification if you haven't already done so. I would love it. Make sure you are here and wait for the next videos to roll out. Anyways, this is it. This is John once again. Peace out.